welcome back to my channel so that today i am coming here with one more new topic on the theme research so for research uh, you might require some more tools so this is one more tool orange data mining tool so now everybody is interested in trying to use artificial intelligence or machine learning for analyzing their data so you can try to explore this using a no coding tool so this is a tool called as orange which can be explored for data mining applications so basically you need not learn any coding so usually for data mining they might use uh, uh, programming languages like python or anything like that but here since uh, it's a tool it is already uh, programmed in such a way that you don't require to remember any coding or learn any coding you can just use the drag and drop options and try to explore different algorithms like knn logistic uh, regression and so on and finally try to analyze your data and find out the accuracy of the model precision of the model confusion matrix area under the curve so all those details can be got by just some clicks of the button so let me give you some details about this orange data mining tool today so first you need to download this so you need to have this uh, orange uh, data mining application so this can be downloaded from google so you just type orange data mining tool for windows and you get this and you can just download it so once you download it you can use it for your application so you can uh, download it for windows or mac or linux so since i am using windows i have downloaded for windows so basically as i told you it's a no code uh, kind of uh, concept so it's very cool so that anybody from any field if you want to try to explore ai ml for your application so that it can be a add on for your research work then this could be a good tool for you just drag and drop options are available which can be used so recently i attended a workshop on this that's how i'm trying to help or create this video for you so that people like me who are not into coding also can try to explore this for your application so basically uh, there are different things to be connecting here so i'll uh, show you the demonstration of it which will makes it even more clear so basically you can try to compare also between different algorithms and see which algorithm gives you a better result and that can be used so in this way a lot of exploration can be done using this uh, data mining tool that is orange so uh, once you open the tool there there's a option like file and you can select a new file okay so this is just to show you that i'll show you the demonstration so the new file can be selected and then it is creating this okay so this image can be created basically connection between different things from file to data table data table to select columns columns to data sampler and then uh, you can select whichever uh, models you want like logistic regression knn and finally you can connect it to the text and score and uh, you can find out the roc confusion matrix and so on so i'll be creating this and showing it to you so basically you can find out the accuracy of the model also so basically accuracy is calculated using the formula correct predict predictions by all predictions or all cases so once i told you you do the confusion matrix right so once you do that you get a chart like this okay so this is true negative true positive false positive false negative so correct predictions are this true negative and true positive okay so 108 and 78 in this case so that is coming in my numerator and you can see denominator is all cases so all of these cases so that is 108 18 78 and 9 so you can see that is my denominator so this comes up to 87.2% okay so this is the confusion matrix that i got for logistic regression so that is why you can see the f1 score here is 0.872 which is matching right so that is how it is calculated so basically with few clicks of the button you get all this data with you and even you can get some graphs also which can be downloaded easily and used for your manuscript so i'll just show you that later so basically it is how you explore this for uh, your particular area so basically data set is important here if you have good quality data set that means you have huge amount of data set then the model will be designed more accurately and precisely so basically it is a no uh, code tool which can be used for non it background people also for their specific domains so let me show you that so this is the orange tool
it's taking them some time to load so once you open this orange data mining tool this page will open so you can see there are various options file transform okay and then you can see data you can see visualize you can see model so various things can be explored here so first we have to select data under data file so this is just drag and drop option so when i select file and uh, drag the cursor i get the next icon to be selected data table from there i select the next that is select columns from there again i drag and drop i get the data sampler from the data sampler i can select whichever algorithms i want okay so i am just trying one or two algorithms today to show you from there i connect it to test and score to see the results and from there whatever results i want to see maybe a roc curve i want to check the uh, confusion matrix so whatever okay so i'm just trying some options today so roc curve and confusion matrix so usually when you're doing such kind of models you have a concept of training and testing so when you are training the model you have a uh, set of data set and when you are testing the model you have one more uh, set of data set so you can classify your data into training and testing and usually most of the times they consider 70% for training and 30% for testing so this is how you need to connect these two things again that is the data sampler and test and score twice the reason for doing it twice is once for training and once for testing data so now let me click and show you few things so file so here uh, you can browse and select the file that you want okay so when you browse you may have a folder where you have your files with you so it is in tab file format so you can see i'm selecting some data hard disease okay and now you can see there is the data here okay so here the most important part here is one of the feature should be selected as target okay so this is the most critical parameter which will help you in classification or which will help you in detection of the disease so diameter uh, of the uh, narrowing okay the narrowing of the diameter is considered to be the most critical parameter here so i will select that as target so i can select whichever i want so if i want this parameter to be the target i can select it okay but now let it be a feature but diameter narrowing i'm considering it to be a target so that is the first thing that you need to check okay once you check that the next thing is data table so the entire data table would have come here whichever uh, file you have uploaded okay then comes select columns so here also you have to select a target so we have already selected diameter narrowing so that has come here in the target section so if you want something else also to be a target you can just drag and drop it just falls here right so gender also i have taken but i don't want it now so i'll put it back okay so similarly uh, you have a data sampler so i told you 70 30 right so this is the point where you need to change it so if i in case i want to make it 80 20 i can make it here but i am doing now 70 30 that is 70% training and 20 30% testing okay so that is also done so these are the uh, models that i'm trying knn and logistic regression test and score so now i want to check the result so okay roc analysis this i click on this you can see i can see the roc curves so color coding is there knn is uh, green color and this orangeish color is for logistic regression if i want it individually also i can select it whichever i want okay so i can have only knn i can have knn and logistic together so that is my selection so once i've got this roc curve i want to save it right i want to uh, put this data in the manuscript which i want to subject uh, submit to some journal so there is a option here you can see here there is a download option so save option just click on that and uh, you can give some name for this a b c d e whatever and you can save it wherever you want so i'm just saving it in desktop and save similarly if i want to save the confusion matrix i can just click on this i want to save this so maybe i will use a snipping tool so whichever you are comfortable with you can just try to use it to save this so once i take a snipping tool you know i can select it so i can select the entire confusion matrix and i can save it right desktop save so finally you have uh, seen how you can try to use this orange data mining tool so uh, you need not learn 
uh, coding languages just by drag and drop option easily you can try to explore this but basically the data set and how to explore this further requires some more understanding but today i have tried to make you understand about how this uh, orange data mining tool can be explored so basically the data set needs to be tried and seen if it works well for you so you can see my say uh, documents are saved here so now i can copy this i can save it to the manuscript and then i can try to publish it in some good journal thank you for watching thank you for supporting me till date if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and please share this video with maximum people so that i can make much more educational videos for you like this thank you